What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. I'm Brad. And I'm Miguel. And today is December 20th, 2023, which is a date significant not only to horror fans, not only to what we're about to watch right now, but because it's Christmas time. The original Black Christmas, Bob Clark's Black Christmas from 1974, same year as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, there's other horror films, too. I'm trying to think what else released that year, but... Uh, Black Christmas being one of the most um, influential horror films of all time, one of the first real slasher films, along with TCM, along with Halloween and things like that. Um, it, it's a pretty important film, and it is also important because uh, we have gotten the official teaser trailer for Dave McRae and Bruce Dale's It's Me, Billy, Chapter 2. I was a contributor on the first film. I'm a contributor on this film, proud contributor to it. Um, and I've been following Dave's channel for a while now, um, and I had kind of turned Miguel on to it a couple years ago. And uh, when, when they started this project, I had never seen the original Black Christmas. And since, uh, you know, I, I had heard of it, I, I knew of it. I, it was just one that I had never seen. You know, we've all got those films. Um, and I watched it and I really liked it. And I actually, I, I remember calling you and I was like, Hey, you need to watch this. Like, this is actually a pretty cool. It's a really slow burn film. Honestly, it took me a couple of times of seeing it to really like, like roll with it and dive into it. Mm -hmm. Um, but once you kind of get the nuances and you kind of, you, you think about the film, um, and, and you think about what Jess would have been going through as she's getting phone calls and as it's kind of unraveling. Um, it, it's a pretty intense film um and, and dave and bruce did a really really great job with the first it's me billy um capturing the spirit of that so mm -hmm. um so i mean i'm i'm stoked to see what they're going to do with chapter two i know uh a, a couple weeks maybe about a month or so ago was right before they went to camera on the film um which had which has been pretty recently um the, it, it, it had been announced that olivia hussey had signed on to reprise her role uh, as Jess Bradford, which, of course, to horror fans, that's a that's a big deal. I mean, that's, you know... That is pretty big. You know, that would be like, you know, uh, fan film people. Again, not that there's anything wrong with that, not that they're any lesser than Hollywood people. Um, but, I mean, that would be like scoring, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode in a Halloween fan film. Like, that's a, that's a really, really big deal. Um, and the professionalism and the the plan of attack, if you will, uh, of Dave and Bruce. They did a really, really great job, um, you know, being two people that work in the industry of getting her back and uh, of kind of laying the groundwork for this whole thing. And, of course, it was unfortunate um, due to her health. She had to back out, which, you know, things happen. You were, we're all human beings. So, mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I still have belief in what they're doing. I think uh, the first one was really, really good. And there were a lot of things that I liked, so... Um, so we're going to give this a shot and we're going to watch the, uh, the teaser trailer for, uh, it's me, Billy chapter two. I'm excited. Yeah. On for sure. the 39th anniversary of the original black Christmas releasing, which is pretty dope. See, it works out that we didn't oh, get to that's film why this he last night. To do it today. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't even think about that. We, we were going to film this last night and I, we just, I, we couldn't make it work. We couldn't get together. Um, even you know what that means now? Now this has to drop else. like tonight, otherwise it's gonna sound weird. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna have to get it to drop like before yeah. the, night, the evening is over, which which is fine. But it's been done. It's been done. It's before. a it's a pretty cool little circle moment, and the film is set to release on the 40th anniversary of Black Christmas next year in 2024, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool too. That's that's really really neat. Again, <laughs> excuse me. It's the same kind of thing as like Halloween releasing, you know, on the 40th anniversary of um, of the original film. So pretty cool. But without further ado, let's get into the teaser trailer for It's Me, Billy, Chapter 2. Dose. All right. The official teaser trailer for It's Me, Billy, Chapter 2. Let's do this thing in three, two, one. Merry Christmas. Dark Chapter Pictures. Have they announced being like sponsors yet? Or am I like way behind on that? Ooh, Agnes! Bitch. I love how they've. That's a cool shot. Like how they've kept him so cloaked in shadow. Oh, yeah. I know that cool. scene too, right there. Yeah, we've got that in a couple of still.
Yeah, so this is taking place. Like, I see a sk Oh! Immediately right after. We got some axe action. Yeah. Yes. This is Christ. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I know who you are. That's pretty cool. I dig it. Chapter Didn't give 11. away too much. Just teases that oh, that, more. that battle, that reunion. Oh, 10, okay. 11, 24. 10, 11, wait a whole year. Ooh. Whole year? Do you think is this? Have they talked about it being like a feature length? Um, I don't. I think it's still a. Um, I believe it's still a short film. I'm not sure how long it will mm -hmm. be. I think it. I feel like I remember him saying on a live stream at some point, Dave. If you see this, correct me if I'm wrong. That it would be slightly longer than the first film. Um, but I'm not entirely not 100 percent sure. That looks great. I the cinematography you. is the thing that like I. I think what struck me the most about the first It's Me, Billy is the way it looked and sounded. And I think it really strikes home. And really, this is something like th this is a compliment to not only Dave and Bruce, but to Vince DeSanti, to Steve Merlo, to Cecil Laird. And I know there's a ton of others, too. But a lot of the people who are in the fan film tribute film game right now, mm -hmm. um, like these people are putting so much content out there they're not even content they're, they're putting so much energy and so much talent and hard work into making these things look like professional hollywood productions mm -hmm. um and, and the thing that struck me about the first film was how good it looked and sounded i mean it just it, it you, you wouldn't know like watching this and the way that those scenes are crafted the lighting the 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 coloring um the 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 way it's set up the angles everything about it like I, I think of that shot of billy sitting at the end of the table where his face cloaked in shadow and i mean obviously you know it's him with the long hair and the shirt and everything but it just it, it's crafted so well and i that was the thing that really struck me more than even the story and i like the story but more than the story more than the acting like it just it it looks and sounds so good and i expect nothing you know less with, with this film um and I don't know about you, I in in a good way, I had so many questions after seeing It's Me, Billy. Like, I think, I think It's Me, Billy made me ask questions about the Black Christmas story that I never would have asked only having seen the original film. Is that mm -hmm. fair? Is that a fair statement? No, I'd say so, because Black Christmas was such a one-off kind of film, as, yeah. as like most of the uh, horror uh, icons that we have out here. But yeah, because most of them were just, just going to be like, you know, one off stories like, yeah, I made I made, you know, this is a story of yeah. Black Christmas story of Halloween. And that's cool because it gives Avenue to broaden the story out as much as right. they want to. You know, what yeah. I mean, it doesn't give a definitive yeah. end, but it gives enough to have the building box to do something else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which yeah. I think is cool that uh, we have this. Uh, fan film that's coming out and it's propelling the story that uh, they're trying to um, express and so far I like what I'm seeing so in regards to like you said the the video and the audio it all sounds phenomenal I know that it's me Billy uh, sounded really eerie just hearing from the phone calls and how yeah. it vividly takes you back to you know, uh, in the seventies for, uh, black yeah. for black Christmas. So, well, and, and not only, I mean, obviously it's Dave's wheelhouse. He's a voice actor, but not only like, did he do a great job on the voice, which still has been, he, Dave left us a comment, what, two years ago when the original one came out on our review video. Mm -hmm. Um, and he said about the voice on the phone, and, and at the end of it's me, Billy. When I'm trying to think back to you, it's I need to rewatch the first one. Um, at when Sam is in the attic and Billy, right before Billy grabs her, the phone rings and she's hearing somebody on the phone. And I was like, okay, how, like how, how is Billy on the phone and mm -hmm. 
and grabbing her in the attic with her at the same time. Um, and he had left us a comment and said something like, the the voice on the phone is not Billy or something. And I was kind of like, what the hell is good? Like, that's the kind of mm-hmm. thing. It, it's it's made me ask questions about the original that I'm like, was that what you thought it to be? Is that Billy on the phone? Like, you know, um, the whole thing with Agnes and all of that, like there's a lot of unanswered questions in, in the best possible yeah, way. Yeah. So, um, so I'm stoked to see how they, um, how they conclude it. And I think it's gonna be cool. Um, I do think based on how they've talked on the show, I think this is the last chapter. I don't think there's going to be like, it's Hey, part three. Like, I don't think that it's going to be the case. I think this is going to be the, I'm about to say, it's going to be really conclusion. hard to, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know it's going to be the definite conclusion of, of the story. So, um, so congrats to, uh, to Dave and Bruce. Um, I listened to a little bit of his live stream the other day and he said, um, that they have like one more technically it's not wrapped they have like one more scene they have to film in january or something like that pivotal scene but i think it's a yeah i think it's at a different location they've already filmed everything um at the house um but yeah it, it, it looks great man so congratulations to all of you um and to everybody uh that, that made this film happen super stoked to see what you guys are cooking up to see what the rock is cooking let's Even see what the he's rock cooking, did not because it smells although <laughs> Listen, Dave, you, you guys probably could have gotten The Rock in this movie if you wanted to. He's in about everything else on Could you imagine if, it was, if he played Billy? Yeah, could you imagine Billy walks in? He's fucking like... He's, fucking he's, he's, could you imagine? That'd be hysterical. Oh, yeah. uh, but guys, listen, that has been our uh, our official reaction to It's Me, Billy, Chapter 2, the teaser trailer. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and threads at LTM Podcast KY. We do new shows every single week. This Saturday, we are going to do a watch-along have more information on what that's going to be later. So if later. you haven't joined the Facebook group, um, go ahead. And the link is down there, bottom right hand corner of the screen. Let's talk movies YouTube channel dash community page. You can join the Facebook group, um, and we just thank you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, everything. Kiss my ass, kiss his ass, kiss your ass. Happy Hanukkah, whatever. Uh, there, there's your hint as to what we're watching Saturday. But yeah, uh, we love you guys. Have a good one, uh, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.